Hello. Yeah, so this is just going to be a quick video on how to get your debug mod working on the 1.2.1 to one version of Hollow Knight since people sometimes get confused by that since it's a bit different from installing installing mods on the newest version of the game. Uh, so without further ado, I've linked this little site in the description so you want to download the modding API for the game on 1.2.1. To one. As I said, I linked it in the description and as well as the debug mod DLL, which is also in there. Once you have both of those, you go to your downloads and they should be right here, obviously. Um, so you just open your Steam folder where you have your Hollow Knight stuff. Make a copy of your Hollow Knight folder. That's the one to one install. I'm just gonna assume you've done that with the guides we have on speedrun.com. Those are really, really simple and clear how to do it. I've already done that, so I've got the copy right here. So just rename this to whatever, and name this one just, just Hollow Knight. It has to be called that for it to actually launch from Steam. And then you throw all of this shit in here. Yes, replace. And then you go to the mods folder. You throw the debug mod in there and that should be it. It's literally that simple. And now we just wait for this little bitch to open up. Which will take approximately two years because there's like 20 seconds of unskippable bullshit at the start, but <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Right, so as you can see, we have the debug mod and all that installed. Let's just go into our random save here. Uh, and I'll show you how it works. So once you get into the game, you might or might not have menus and stuff on your screen, but if you press F1 on your keyboard, it'll toggle them on and off like this. And, well, you can probably explore all this yourself, I don't need to explain it, but the one thing I do want to point out is that you need to actually bind these make save state and load save state uh, binds to something on your keyboard, doesn't matter what. So, I like to have them on 5 and 3, it doesn't matter. Just like put them on like 7 and 6. So now when I, when I press 6, no wait, that's load. I fucked up. <laughs> okay, yeah, if you try to load a save state, well, you haven't set one, this happens and it's really bad and you need to alter for your game. But, um, let's do that again. Anyway, you get the idea. You press the save state, save state button, you can do whatever and then you can load it again and you'll be right there. Everything will be reset to how it was, like, Mantis levers and geo chests and and everything you can use to practice bosses and whatever but yeah um, <laughs> if that happens where everything just glitches out it's probably because he did something wrong oh this is a different save what did I bind them to again or right, make a seven that's all right we uh we make a save state there take some damage, we kill a crawlid, and then we load it, and boom, we're back. It, it does break your geo counter, as you can see, if I, if I kill this guy and pick up the geo, it doesn't actually show up, but you need to care about that, it doesn't matter, <laughs> it's just for practicing. Uh, but yeah, uh, when you want to switch back into, into using your regular install for the uh, for the speedruns that you have to do and you just rename this to debug mod or something and then rename this to Hollow Knight and you're good to go. Now it'll just launch the default game and that's really all there is to it. You're welcome.